Paul, you tested the sub 750 pound category of the 2018 Hardtail of the Year test. And like, traditionally that's a bit of a twilight zone, isn't it? There's not really like a lot of standout bikes in it, but like this year was completely different. Yeah, it was, yeah. Sometimes you get a lot of like, you know, duff bikes, but this year there was four really good standout bikes. I mean, they were like, you know, just all vying for contention right to the end. But before we get to those, what about the two bikes that weren't vying for attention? What were they and what was wrong with them? Well, the worst bike in the test was a specialised Rockhopper Expert 29. And the thing about that bike was it's got really old school geometry. So we, when you might be old school, you mean like it's got like a steep head angle, it's more XC, yeah. less trail oriented, okay. Really high, really short, really long stem. Yeah, I remember that actually, it had a massive stem on it. But the thing that really hurt the bike was it has these um, flak jacket tires and they're puncture protection tires. They've got like a it's Kevlar, a Kevlar. belt yeah. to help puncture protection, but they're really slow rolling. Yeah. So if you want to get going on a bike, it's really hard work. Because it's 29er as well, isn't it? So yes. you've got big heavy tires on a 29er, okay. So for somebody who's starting out, a yeah. bike that feels really sluggish is just not going to be very inspiring. That was basically, we slammed that one straight away. Yeah. What was the next bike? Well, it's the Kona. The Kona Shred. And we, we had that bike last year too, didn't we? And the year before, yes. But like it's always had loads of potential. Yeah. It's got the best geometry. Yeah. It's low, slack, really sort of progressive geometry. The problem is, which was the problem last year, probably the year before, it has the worst fork on test. It's got no damping and it's it's really clattery when you're hitting stuff. Those are like there are two bikes that have been around for forever. We had some new bikes in this test this year too. We didn't did, we? yeah. We also had a Polygon Extrada Six. Yeah. And it was a Norco Charger Two. We had a Calibre Line Ten. All those bikes surprised us. They oh, were, yeah. they came in and you just oh, like you assess bikes and you think, is this going to be any good? Is this the one? I mean, when the line when the Calibre turned up, we were just like, yeah, this is going to win it. Yeah, totally. I mean, I remember looking at the head angle. It's got, it was the only bike in your category with a dropper post. Yeah. It was one it of the was... few bikes with a bolt through fork. I think the other one was just, is the Voodoo here. Yeah. Um, full one by drivetrain. I mean, it just looked, just looked like it ticked every box. Just the ride quality. Mm. Just didn't feel as lively or as inspiring or as comfortable as the bike in front of us. So the Voodoo Bazango 29, it's, I mean, that's not a new bike to Hardtail of the Year. I mean, this bike's got some, it's got some pedigree, hasn't it? It's not a new name, but this is a brand new bike. It's just everything. Everything's changed. It's like, it uh, has a lighter frame. It's like every single tube is butted now. Okay. And what that means is um, you have uh, a thicker wall at the join and a thinner wall in the center, yeah, so it saves, saves weight. weight. Yeah, yeah. And also that, that improves the ride quality yeah, as well. Yeah, it takes a bit of the harshness out, doesn't it? Um, it's got, a lot more manipulation on the frame tubes. You mean like bending and forming and yeah, shaping? A lot more yeah, shaping. yeah, you can see that in the chain stays and yeah. the seat stays a lot. It yeah. has the Boost 141 by 9mm rear dropouts. What it means is it has a wider axle, so you've got wider flange space and you've got a stronger, stiffer rear wheel, mm. which is good. So which basically, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really good, got, especially when you've got 29 wheels because they're bigger wheels and the levers exactly. are longer. And, yeah. and you've got a little bit more clearance for tire yeah. clearance at the front. One by drivetrain? Yeah. I mean, totally. there was, I mean, okay, so like one by drivetrain is quite, still quite a new thing at this price point. We said last year that this category would really benefit from, from, from having a one by drivetrain. Yeah. And three of the bikes have got it this year. Yeah, yeah, it's great, isn't it? And it's simpler, saves weight, yeah. more efficient. You know, when you've got. But like the big thing is the chain doesn't drop yeah, off. Yeah, chain doesn't fall yeah, off. Yeah, so yeah. for a beginner, you're not, you know, you're not, it doesn't get all tangled mm -hmm. up, you don't get your hands all greasy. Yeah. I mean, they've done a pretty good job on the on the cockpit and stuff too. I and mean, the stem's pretty short, the bar's wide. The length of the bike, it's got a longer reach. Yeah. Slack and head angle. Yeah. A bit more forgiving. It's is one of the two bikes in the test got both both through fork. Yeah. So stiffer, more precise. Yeah. It's, it's also air sprung too, so is, you can yeah. adjust that for like different rider weights really so easily. If, you, yeah, if yeah. you're a really heavy guy, you can put more in the spring, and it's yeah. got adjustable rebound, so you can tune that for you. Yeah, yeah. Your body weight. It felt really lively. Good acceleration. It's like you get on it and you, you sprint off, you think, oh, this bike feels like, you know, it feels really fast. Yeah. Climb's yeah, yeah. good. 
I've always been blown away. Every time I ride one of these, I'm like, really? And like, and this year, I think it looks better than ever. Yeah. Because like the yellow color used to come in, used to look a bit weird. But like, yeah, I mean, this pasty. bike, this bike looks expensive. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it looks like a thousand pound bike. Yeah, it really looks expensive. But the price fluctuates, doesn't it? It does. What's the what's the RRP on that bike? Six fifty. Yeah. So it's so basically, it's given a hundred pound away to nearly every other bike in the sub seven hundred fifty pound category. It is. Yeah. And what Halfords are doing is. At various points throughout the year, they're reducing the price of the bike. I mean, we actually saw what's it. Been, what's the lowest it's been? I think we saw it for 535. Yeah, I think it, it was too. It went right. And the thing that. is, I mean, that's incredible. When you compare that to, say, the Caliber Line 10, yeah. which has got a dropper post, well, you can you've buy, actually got, you can buy any dropper post you want. You've got <laughs> 200 quid to play <laughs> yeah, with. To buy a dropper post, yeah, yeah. To buy a dropper or whatever which, you want. Which would be an amazing upgrade. And I mean, and even if you don't want to get a dropper post, just that 200 pound means you can get a helmet, you can get gloves, everything you can get a you decent need. set of pedals. You basically can just hit the trail running. It's just everything about it is bang on. So same name, new frame. Yeah. Better spacing at the rear. Uh, which, is, which gives you stronger 29er yeah. wheels. But longer lasting, you yeah. know, a bit more tire clearance, better longer geometry, air, air sprung fork, lightweight, adjustable, yeah. really quick rolling tires, and a really good solid cockpit. Yeah, and killer price. Yeah, and a killer price, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, amazing.